Hey guys, Brian here. Today we're looking at the brand new Costa Henry M-Lock Handguard and Modular Rail System. This is a collaboration between Chris Costa and Ranger Point Precision. Before we get started, I'm going to let you know I have got the install video for the handguard linked in the description below and up in the corner. Same install as the other Ranger Point handguards. The only difference is we're adding in this Modular Rail System. Guys, this thing's going to knock your socks off. So this is based off of the Gen 2 uh, Ranger Point Precision handguard. It's a collaborative effort between Chris and Ranger Point, and there's a few variations. As you can see, there is a pick rail on top, so it has a modular rail system that goes on top and can also integrate with the uh, receiver. And then you have some nice little additions of the scalloped edges, some more uh, relief weight cuts to keep the weight down, and guys, it is an awesome system. It allows you to fine tune your lever gun to be exactly what you need it to do. So for instance, this is my favorite setup, and this is how it comes. It comes with a handguard and one gator. They call it a gator because it looks like an alligator, but this is my favorite setup with the gator facing rearward. It gets my red dot in an optimal position for what I like to use. So it's just over the receiver, a little more than what you can typically get with a receiver rail, a little more forward. So this is a great setup. One place this is really gonna shine is when they release the Winchester and Rossi versions because with, with this system, you will now be able to have a red dot or a scout scope on a Winchester or a Rossi top eject rifle such as this. Until now, you've only been able to do a pick rail that replaces the rear sight, which I'm not super fond of. They're not the most robust. Whereas when you put this rail system on here, you will be able to have a red dot or a scout scope easily mounted on this rifle. I'm really excited about that. So with this system, like I said, you get the handguard and the gator. You can buy an additional gator to go on the front and you can have them rearward or forward facing. Both of them I'll show you in a minute. And then if you have them rearward facing, you can't use the pick rail that goes on top of the receiver. They have to be forward facing. And when you do that, you get a full length to the end of the handguard coverage. Now you might ask, why is it in three pieces? Partially that's for the modularity. You can save weight where you don't want to have something and have it set up for exactly what your needs are. Additionally, one thing people don't think about is, yeah, you know, there's a lot of stuff hanging off a lever gun barrel, but so it's not going to be super precise. You know, on average, you can expect an inch and a half ish to two inch MOA or check the Instagram video I've got linked below. And with some of the new Remington ammo, I shot a 0.59 MOA group at hundred yards with this gun. So accuracy is there with these Henry's I've proven it. It's a great setup, but I digress. So one thing you need to think about is when you use some of the long sight systems or a long rail system that ties everything together, if this barrel droops any at all, which I've got one on the wall behind me that droops 54 thousandths of an inch in an eight inch span, it doesn't sound like a lot. However, it's not a straight line that the long sight systems are accounting for. So if you've got it flush with the barrel, it's either going to be pushing down into the receiver or floating above the receiver or vice versa, depending on how your setup is. So when you take that into account, if it's floating above the receiver and then you force it down, even just a couple thousandths of an inch, you force it down to tighten it to the receiver, then it's going to be pulling your barrel in an unnatural position, which is going to throw your accuracy off. So by having this modular system that is not all one big unit tying everything together, you're going to get the most accuracy possible out of your system, given the fact that it is a lever gun and there's already a lot hanging off the barrel. So this is one place where you can help keep the accuracy in your favor. So there's a couple of things to keep in mind with this system. One, I'll show you in a second that, you know, you can just bolt everything down and it's gonna do 99% of what you need done. For those of you that have extreme OCD or possibly you're running a clip on thermal and you want everything dialed in perfectly, these do have the option of jack screws that will allow you to level each rail so that they are all perfectly in line. And I'm gonna do a separate video on that setup that way you don't have to see that if you don't want to, if you're not worried about it. Like I said, you can bolt this stuff down, tighten it down as is, use blue Loctite of course, and it's gonna be good to go for 99% of the people out there. I've done it, it works great. There's no issues with it and it looks good. It's not wonky, everything's pretty much in line. Secondly, 
keep in mind that when you go to install these, you know, you've got tensioning screws on the side with the Gen 2 handguards from Ranger Point. And when you tighten those screws to the barrel, you can shift this handguard a little bit each way. You're only supposed to use 10 inch pounds of torque. So not much, you know, just, just snug it up, basically get it touching and then go a little bit more. And in doing that, you're gonna secure it to the barrel. But like I said, if you go too much, you're gonna push this handguard out just a little bit. And I actually did that when I first installed it. And I had it where this gator didn't wanna just drop freely in like that right there. So make sure that you release all the tension on all the tensioning screws before doing this installation of the gators. That way you don't have any added play one way or the other. Once you get everything set, bring it back to 10 inch pounds or get it to touch and then just a little bit more and you're good to go. So that's just something to keep in mind. It happened to me, it can happen to anybody. And I deal with these all the time, but it's just, I was in a hurry, I threw it together and I tightened that screw up a bit much and it wasn't out much, just a hair, but it was just enough that this didn't wanna just drop in there. I had to pop it in there. So just keep that in mind, guys. So before we get any further into it, to show you some of what this system is capable of, for those of you that don't know, I do photo and video for a living and Ranger Point is actually a client of mine. So I did a promo video for this whole system. I'll let you watch the video so you can get an idea of what the system is capable of. I run through all kinds of optics, uh, pressure pad and light mount, thermal, red dot, the whole nine yards. So I'll let you watch that and then we'll come back. See you in a second. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, it just, it shows you what the system is capable of and there's so many more options out there. If you can think it to put on an AR, basically you can put it on here. So if you wanna run an infrared emitter out front, something like that, you know, you can do that. You can trick it out to your heart's desire and this system will allow you to adapt it to exactly what you want. <clears throat> so now let's show you the full setup. So if I put one gator there, one gator there, and I'm just gonna pop a couple of screws in these to hold them in place. I'm not putting all four in right now because you, know, you guys know I am gonna disassemble this thing a lot before it's over. That's just the way things go on this channel and on my Instagram. They, uh, they change their look quite often. So when you do install these, make sure you use blue Loctite once you get everything set where you want it so that everything stays in place and it doesn't vibrate loose from recoil. Now, once I've got these on here, again, I'm just doing two screws on each one. There's a total of four on each plus the jack screws. Now, I'm gonna throw a couple of screws in this receiver mounted rail. And this is a little bit taller than your standard rail. So you do have to have a new rail in order to interface properly with the system. You can't use the standard Rhino rail that Ranger Point makes. As you guys can see, that rail looks good. Everything's flush. One thing to keep in mind is you can't bridge rails especially on the receiver and the barrel, because if you bridge a rail with an optic, that's essentially making a one piece rail. Additionally, if you try to bridge at this particular junction, say over here, it's not the same as one junction of Picatinny rail. So you can't use that mounting point as a standard mounting point with a recoil lug involved because they are different thicknesses. But I've had no issues other, you know, there, there's no problems with it. It's just, that's the way it falls on this system. So. If we trick this out for hog hunting, for instance, I've got an uh, American Defense Manufacturer QD mount. I've got a AccuFire Atro 8 optic here, and I'm gonna clip that sucker into place. And then if I wanna run this clip on thermal, which happens to be an AccuFire and send us, it's a great little thermal. When I mount it on this system, it will end at the head of the first uh, gator. So I don't have to have the third one if I don't want it. So, Now, clip that in. As you can see, we're good to go with a low power variable and a thermal. Now, if I wanted to add in a white light for hog hunting, or if I wanted to do an infrared emitter, you can very easily install that extra gator and tighten this down. 
and now you're good to go. You've got the full length rail, you've got all the bells and whistles, anything you could want, and then you can reconfigure as necessary if you're gonna be running a red dot for a tactical style setup, or you, know, you can leave this up here and just have the, uh, the receiver rail or just have the pick rail and, or just have the gator, sorry, and not have the receiver mounted rail and then uh, you know, just have a, a red dot and the white light for your tactical setup in your house if you live in a not so free state or you just wanna rock a lever gun for home defense. So as you guys can see, this is a very, very versatile system. I think it is going to do extremely well and I think that uh, you guys are really gonna love it. So there's a red dot and white light setup, super easy to throw together guys. You know, it, it's just like any other pick rail system. You can pick and choose what you want. Just this adds the versatility of being able to remove these sections as needed. So like I said, I'm gonna put it back in my preferred setup. So guys, this would be my preferred setup if I was running this for a tactical setup or just get out for fun. And I would run a red dot with a white light and I've got all my bases covered with this gun. There's nothing I can't do with this rifle and it being a 30-30, anything in the Southeast, I'm good to go two to four legs. It's gonna take care of what I need. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them. Also, let me know what you think of this. Did they knock it out of the park with this? Did Chris and Ranger Point really come up with something cool? I think they did. I think it's gonna do extremely well. I think you guys are gonna love it. I know I love it and uh, I'm excited to get out and run it and finally unveil it to you guys because I've been sitting on this and waiting for a while and now I can start posting content. Check out the Instagram if you haven't seen some of the photos and reels we do. We have a lot of fun over there and post a lot more there than we do here on YouTube. Just time constraints, got a lot going on life so it's hard to get over here all the time. It takes a lot of work to put these together. I try to do higher quality content and I hope you guys enjoy it. But like I said, if you got any questions, drop them below. Check back soon. We'll have that video on doing the leveling of this. But like I said, you don't really need it. Everything looks good as is when you bolt it down. There's really no need to level this thing up, but I'll take you through it anyway if you want to see it. And uh, I guess that's about it. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Give us a big thumbs up for a like and share us with your friends. Have a good one, guys.